Hello there, and this one is called We Are All Monsters. So as the Dutch say, Ik zal even uitleggen. And as we say in English, I shall explain. So, we are all monsters. What do I mean by this? Well, before we start, I want you to be aware that 2018 is the year where everything that has not come out to be sorted out is coming out. Whatever been repressed, whatever you've not been ready to deal with, whatever you felt you couldn't handle, it's all coming out this year. So, here's my first question for you. Have you ever lost your temper with someone? Have you ever been possessed by the spirit of anger? Have you ever said or done anything in blind rage, not of sound mind? Have you ever regretted what you have said to another? If so, that means you're a monster, just like me. I've been angry. I've said and I've done things that I have regretted when I found myself again, when I became back into sound mind. In China, a person who is angry is regarded to be temporarily insane. What a wise perspective I feel that is. So I want to take us deep into this thing about being monsters. So if you've ever been angry with someone, says stuff you've felt like you regretted afterwards, sure. You've inhabited the spirit of anger. You've been the monster. And what interested me is where it all goes back to. So this week's been a really tumultuous week for me, and I've been doing a lot of shamanic recapitulation work and facing up to feelings about the past, about childhood, which I hadn't even realised that I hadn't faced up to. That's funny, isn't it? Sometimes you don't even know what you don't know, so that's what's been happening to me. And when I took my awareness back to being a child, and remember how it felt being a child, I was very aware of feeling powerless, that there were these massive beings, these huge hulking brutes of humanity, so much bigger than me and they would do what they did and particularly thinking about the caregivers the parents the teachers thinking about these this is what I remember I would remember everything's fine everything's going well and all of a sudden in the blink of an eye from one moment to the next from changing from being a loving parent or teacher or caregiver, suddenly that person is now a towering inferno of red rage. Now, when you're a child and you've got an adult that has been showing signs of loving and caring for you and suddenly they're a towering inferno of red rage, do you remember what it felt like? It felt like utter betrayal, didn't it? And then they're ranting and raving or shouting or attacking or hitting, whatever it is they're doing. And so I learnt not to trust adults when I was a child. Because for all I know, an adult that was being perfectly nice at any moment, they could turn and become monsters. So how do you relate to that? Did that happen to you, that you felt, as a child, you couldn't trust the adults? That certainly was my experience. Now, what I've spoken about so far pretty much applies to all of us, but I'm going to go to the next level now, which only applies to some. If you're a parent, the chances are at some point you'll have lost your temper with this innocent young person that you love. And so the spirit of anger 
travels from generation to generation and suddenly you, the parent, I, the parent, am the monster and something happened to trigger me, something from my past no doubt and then the next thing I know it's me that's being the towering inferno of red rage and it's some poor small defenseless being, the child that I love it is now on the receiving end. I invite you to join with me in the following exploration. Let's explore how to release the anger that we carry from these past experiences of having been subjected to the anger of adults when we were children ourselves. Because this is the understanding I've got is that we've all experienced being in the thrall of the monster, in the power of the monster, of the adult who's angry. And a lot of us have experienced being parents and we've actually experienced being the monster as well. So this is how it goes, it begins with trust. Children are innocent and they trust. And then something happens and the adult turns into the monster. At that moment they shift from trust into betrayal. What a harsh moment that is for that young child. And then that leaves the child with the possibility. One possibility is to stay in betrayal, stay in mistrust. The other possibility is to move out of betrayal into forgiveness. And when we move into forgiveness, that's when the magic starts to happen. When I realize that I have been subjected to the spirit of anger through other monstrous human beings, and when I acknowledge that I have been the monster myself, it means if someone gets angry with me, I've got empathy, I've got compassion because I just know that that person's been triggered. They can't help in that moment reacting and lashing out the way they are because they are in such pain. They wouldn't do it in their right mind. They wouldn't say those things. They wouldn't do those things in their right mind. That's because they're not in their right mind. They're actually completely out of it, aren't they? So when we ask for forgiveness, this is the act of power. So the first thing, obviously, is you can give forgiveness to those that have been angry and hurtful towards you. That's one thing you can do. I can do that. I can be giving forgiveness for those that have been angry and hurtful towards me. And then the next step is for me to give forgiveness towards myself for being angry and hurting other people. And this is the cornerstone of the prayer which comes at a Christianity called the Lord's Prayer and it goes something like this Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name give us this day our daily bread I'm not remembering it all but this is the bit I'm coming to that's most significant forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us in other words we're asking the source to forgive us for the shit that we've done to others, for the harm that we've done to others, for being possessed by the spirit of anger. So we're asking for forgiveness for ourselves. And then we're giving forgiveness to those who've hurt us in their outburst of anger. And the funny thing is in the making of this film, because it's taken some days and I will make a film about how do I make these films because sometimes they take days of work and this is one of them, it's been coming up a week now. So here's the next thing and it's perhaps more in tune with the current age and it's Hawaiian shamanism, it's Ho'oponopono and it's much more simple, much more precisely to the point and it goes like this I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. I'm sorry, 
please forgive me, thank you, I love you. This is a powerful healing tool. If you have a look, there is a film on Nuti Shaw and it's called Ho'oponopono. In fact, I believe there are two films. So if you're interested in Ho'oponopono and how it works, there's two films going into great detail. However, I want to conclude this film by saying that it's the human experience to have been possessed by the spirit of anger and to have hurt others and to have been hurt by others. If this has happened to you, you're a human being, it's the qualification. And what I realized when I went deeply into my own introspective processes this week is I'd been carrying an anger which I thought I'd processed decades ago and obviously I hadn't because I was still holding on to an anger at a body level to do with being hurt by adults when I was a child. And so what I've been doing this week is I've been doing the most important thing. If you've been suppressing something for a long time and it starts to come out 2018, then the first thing I had to do that I needed to do was to feel it fully and completely. And so I've spent some days feeling the anger, feeling the rage, feeling the betrayal, feeling the powerless, tiny, innocent child. And as I did that, that took me to the realization that so you have received, so you have given out. And I had an experience just yesterday with my partner where I became angry. It was my turn again to be the person that was possessed for a short time by the spirit of anger, saying the words that I regretted as soon as I came back into being of sound mind. So that's my suggestion, is the next time someone gets angry with you, remember how they are in that role at that moment and that you've been in that place too and feel the empathy and compassion for them and forgive them before they even are through being angry with you and see how that feels. All the love to everyone. It's not the easiest journey of being human, is it? Much respect to all of us who chose to take this on. Thank you very much.